Hello, so these cards I got in this box are called tarot, tarot cards, excuse me, by Travis McHenry. Now I'm going to take it out so you can see it. Okay. So they're small enough for your, to fit your hands. <laughs> I don't have the biggest hands, but not the smallest. Look at the back. And if you look in the front, it says Ace of Pentacles. Let's see. Ace of Pentacles. It has Hebrew letters on it. It says Ariel. Gives all worldly power and treasures, makes one rich quickly. I know it doesn't come with an instruction booklet, but um, I just, you just have to figure it out by on your own, you know. The next card is Baphomet, the magician, gives health and financial prosperity, connects on safely with the divine. It's interesting, it has all these symbols. The focus is not very good. Let's see if I can make it. Yeah. Then we have the Emperor. Five of Wands. So you see, they come with the magnificent art. I don't know where they. It's like a dragon, someone sitting on a dragon. You know, this one causes earthquakes, overthrown pol overthrows politicians, the five of wands. The tower, I think it's like a complicated um, tower deck to use. You know, you have to know how to translate it into your story, like, how to give a, how do you say, how to weave it into when you're reading for somebody, interpret, how to interpret this, so this is a tower, promoter of discord, war, arguments, falsehoods, gives generous responses, the tower, five of pentacles, is a horse, Ten of Wands is a lion. Four of Pentacles. Oh, this is so weird. <laughs> Two of Pentacles. This is kind of freaky. This this tarot set. You got you gotta kind of learn learn the meanings of it and how it would weave into your reading of somebody's life. <clears throat> Queen of Wands. So you get the picture, you know? Queen of Wands teaches arts and sciences, tells anything one desires to know, gives dignities, can make any man subject to one's demands, gives good familiars. So it has some translations of the Kabbalistic occult Tara meanings in it. Ace of Cups. What the heck? This is so creepy. Teaches philosophy. It has like weird legs. Ooh. Three of Cups. Ace of Swords. Inflames men with women's love and women with men's love causes them to show themselves naked if desired. Ace of Swords. But the Ace of Swords generally means that it's um, new beginnings, um, breakthrough, clarity of, of the mind. But here it says all this other stuff, you know? I guess the extra meaning could help in some instances. Knight of Cups.
causes all the love that may be both of men and women. Knight of Cups, Nine of Swords. Great battles. I don't really know what it means. I forget. You see, I, my memory is not so good to remember like the meaning of every card, you know? So I'm wondering if the meanings of these cards contradict the normal meanings of the cards generally, or this is a Kabbalistic deeper meanings of the cards as well. Reveals knowledge of forthcoming battles and procures the favor of lords and kings. Kings of sorts. <laughs> The Lovers, ba Botus, Page of Swords, Knight of Wands, the focus on the camera is not very good, Two of Cups, I have all these, you see, Four of Wands, Page of Pentacles, Two of Wands. So you get the picture, you know? Five of Cups. Seven of Pentacles. Look, there's a crow on a bottle. Teaches art, science, rhetoric, restores lost honors and dignities, takes honor and dignity from others. Seven of Pentacles is strange. Strange uh, interpretation. <clears throat> Ooh, Seven of Wands, murder, bloodshed, tells of things to come, causes the love of friends or enemies, can make one invisible. Ooh. <laughs> the sun makes some rich, smart, and well-spoken, gathers spirits at tombs, and changes the places of the dead. Eight of Wands. Teaches rhetoric very well, gives faithful servants. <clears throat> King of Pentacles, Justice, Six of Cups, it all has meanings, you know, Nine of Cups, King of Wands, the Star, Ten of Cups, Nine of Wands, they're pretty awesome, you know, I, I just need to figure out the real reason why it has different um, interpretations. Page of Cups, it has an owl, freaky owl, this is like a freaky deck, you know? The the quality of the paper I don't like so much, you know, I, I, I like when it's like a hard plastic, you know, and shiny, but I guess it's okay <laughs> for what we have. I don't know how much it was on Amazon, I forgot how much it was. Two of Swords, Ten of Swords, another bird, Dove it looks like. Three of Swords, this is a ram. Oh, that's interesting. I guess the... I guess each card, like Three of Swords, it symbolizes a certain thing. For example, um, Three of Swords is heartbreak, right? And it has here um, a ram, which signifies... destroys... It steals treasures from kings. No, there's a ram, and then there's a... That is a vulture, right? So the vulture is, like, not considered a good thing. Uh, a vulture waits till their prey dies, and then it eats them. So, I guess the, sim the, symbolic this, the symbolism of this card is stealing treasure from kings, destroys cities and the dignities of men, tells of things past... Present and future causes love between friends and foes. I don't understand how it could cause love between friends and foes if this card is the heartbreak card. Someone can explain that. I'm not sure. Eight of Swords. 
see, that's why I don't understand, because it, it contradicts, you know, because Three of Swords is, is the heartbreak card, you know, but then it says it causes love between enemies and friends, so I don't really know, Eight of Cups, it's a lover's cup, no, it's not a lover's cup, but the eights mean, I'm not sure, <laughs> I don't know the meaning of everything, Aces are always something of new, new teachings. But the Wands is a fiery sexual card. It's the art of seduction, this card. Ace of Wands. The Devil. Ooh. Tricks mortals. Makes one worse off than ever before. Tricks mortals into being bound, accepts child sacrifices. That's Satanism. Most of Hollywood are satanic evil death provides liberation and elimination incites jealousy and envy death but death usually means transformation it doesn't necessarily mean actual death you know but it's funny how it has a different um elaboration it elaborates on a different meaning i guess connected to the death card of like the meaning of transportation transformation and um change renewal Liberation. I guess when a person dies, they are liberated in some way and they are illuminated. But why does it incite jealousy and envy? I don't know. <laughs> the moon. Bills above. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, that's the name of a demon. Moon. Mystery. Mystery and... Mystery and also... Um, the moon signifies deception and makes manifest apparitions of demons, sets demons upon men to destroy them with vices. Moon. The moon is, is a mystery and hidden, the hidden, you know? Seven of Swords. High Priestess. He teaches art and science, knows the secret that all that thoughts of all and can change them, he causes love, shows vision of the world. I actually like I like this deck. It's kind of deep, you know? I like the depth of these cards. Travels the world over an instant six of swords. So it's very swift. Swift card. I guess if you're like asking the cards for like an answer about timing. It could, if this is a if you get this card which is a swift card then you can know it's gonna happen quickly Knight of Pentacles teaches a virtue of herbs and stones makes birds appear and behave as though tame it's oh, interesting each picture is like so deep it's a good card it's a good deck I'm, I'm happy I got this deck this is judgment. Distributes promotions and high offices causes one to be liked. I guess if it's upside down, if you get it reversed, then it has the opposite meaning. Um, Nine of Pentacles. Unicorn. Unicorn in hu human form. <laughs> Interesting. See, it's a unicorn in human form. Okay. Four of Swords, Queen of Swords, Knight of Swords, this is kind of a creepy deck to use, the Chariot, ooh there's a lot of blood, Sower of, Sower of Discord, Slayer of Men, the Chariot doesn't mean that necessarily, Wheel of Fortune, Tells where treasures are hidden, reveals hidden dangers. <clears throat> Eight of Pentacles. The world. The Hierophant. Teaches astrology, the virtues of the stars, the houses of the planets, and how to understand them. Transforms men with dignities, finds favor with friends and foes. 
So the hair event is like the Pope, you know, just giving over, um, giving over information and knowledge. Six of Pentacles. Teaches liberal sciences and astrology. Um, Seven of Cups. Excuse me? Oh, that's interesting. The Empress. Pictures, procures the love of a woman of any age, tells her treasures, a hidden tells the past, past, present, and future. I'm guessing this um, tarot deck takes into account the astrological um, houses of the, of the cards' symbols. You know, so they mix it in and put it on here as well. Three of Pentacles. Oh, this is a creepy, creepy deck. It's like, it's like from like a freak show or something, you know? You ever been to like a circus, an old-fashioned circus? Six of Wands. Where you have like people with like ten arms and the Fool. The Fool gives understanding of animals and the voice of waters, of the waters answers of things to come. Mm. King of Cups. It teaches astronomy, liberal arts, brings good familiars. Page of Wands. The pages are always the youthfulness, representing, symbolizing youth. The Hermit. The Temperance. And it says, teaches geometry, liberal sciences, makes great noises, and warms water. Hmm. Interesting. Queen of Pentacles. Three of Wands. Wands is fire and passion, and it's like for relationships. The hanged man. Teaches natural and planetary sciences, lights, corpse, lights above graves, and moves bodies so the soul may be stolen. How creepy is that? Teaches natural and planetary sciences. This um, card lights corpse, lights above graves, and moves bodies so the souls may be stolen. How creepy is that? I guess... If someone would get this card, it would be signifying interpretations of someone's trying to, you know, sabotage them or something in some way, steal their soul. This is strength. It's interesting that it's on a horse. Strength is supposed to be a lion. Four of Cups. Four of Cups is supposed to signify the... No, I don't know. I know. I think it's Four of Wands, signify the home. Four of Cups is supposed to be like, you know, you're getting offers, but you're not open to it. Five of Swords. And that's the whole deck. See, here's the whole deck. This is what it looks like. It's not shiny or anything. And if you want to mix it, I guess you can do it like this. Or you can mix it like normal cards. You know, I don't know if they'll be long lasting, you know, because of the quality. It's like paper, you know, which I don't like so much, but it's a nice set to have. So that's it for now.